Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a really simple page curl effect with the shadows here. Basically, you get a more intense shadow here at the bottom edge of a page. So it kind of looks, gives you a nifty effect, kind of looks like it's peeling away from the page. A uh, little bit of a 3D effect. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so for this project, we have two files index.html and pagecurl.scss, but you can follow along with CSS just as easily. In HTML, it's pretty simple, just a link to our style sheet, and this is what it looks like, completely empty, so let's get started. First, we're going to have a div, actually a couple divs, um, with a class of page div, like that, and that's going to have content and just a whole bunch of random content that is absolutely meaningless. And we'll have a couple pages. So now it looks like this. You can't really tell the difference between the divs. I guess you can there, right there. But um, so that's what we're starting off with. And now let's just style it up. So I'm going to say um, give a background color of a lighter grayish. Um, maybe a little bit darker. And now let's style up actually the pages. So those will have a background color of white and um, margin of 10, uh, 30 pixels auto. And they'll be centered because I'm going to say width of 80%. Okay, and we'll give them some padding of like 15 pixels. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna give them a little bit of a box shadow, um, zero, zero, one, no, like uh, five pixels, or GBA, zero, 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 zero point three maybe. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we're gonna add a little triangle here, a long but uh, thin triangle, right here, so it'll look like the this is like a piece of paper that's kind of peeling away or curling away. It's kind of a nifty visual effect. So we're going to use that, do that with the um, the pseudo elements of before and after. Content nothing because they have to have that. Um, position position um, absolute, which means that. We have to have a position of relative here so that we can position this absolutely but relative to its parent. So then this will have a um, top of 100%, left of zero, because I'm just going to write all the styles for the before element and then just change the styles for the after element. So top and left, um, width zero, height zero, um, border, border, color. Uh, black, transparent, transparent, transparent. So only the top border is going to have color. Border style, solid. And border uh, width. And I'm going to say 2 pixels for the top, 200 pixels for the right, and then 0 and 0. Okay, so now we have this little triangle here. If I zoom in, you can see it a little bit better. And now, and, and that's gonna be our shadow. So now we have to blur it using this special CSS newish uh, property called filter and then blur one pixel. Now, as far as the support for CSS filter, um, I tested it in Firefox, it works fine in Firefox, but in IE and Edge, I couldn't get it to work. Although, um, can I use.com? Nifty little resource to help you figure out if you can use something, how well it's supported. If I look for filter, um, it says Edge has partial support for it. I couldn't get it to work in Edge. I don't know, um, but IE doesn't, it doesn't work in IE at all. But all the rest of the browsers, most of them, um, it works pretty well. 
that's cross browser spiel, I guess. And now it's all blurred, which is perfect, except um, it's over top of the edge of the content, so it's obvious it isn't a shadow. So we'll just have to do some simple Z indexing, negative one, put it below that, and now it looks like a shadow. So it kind of gives us that peeling away feeling, and I'm going to change this to like 0.5. and maybe turn down the opacity, opacity of like 0 0.7. Okay, that looks good to me for now. Um, and now let's just style up that after element and after. And this is going to have left auto, uh, if I can spell it, auto, um, and a right of zero. So now we have the same shadow over here. Oh, of course. So I styled that beforehand. Um, so I guess this opacity doesn't have to be so low. Yeah, now it's a little more obvious. Maybe we can just get rid of that altogether. Yeah, that's okay. Um, this shadow effect here is the same as this one over here. So we have to flip this around so it works on the other side there. And to do that, we just say border width is 2 pixels, 0, 0, 200 pixels. And there, now it's reversed. And there you go. That is how you make a really simple page curl effect in CSS. SAS. Still haven't made up my mind how I'm going to, I guess it's SAS, yeah. So, there you go. My name is Jacob. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe. I keep messing up that word. Yeah, have a good one.